What's up everybody? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. What the fuck? I didn't mean to flip you guys off. I really didn't. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm kind of like... Como se dice, I had a little breakdown earlier because what the fuck is going on? Bitch. First the fucking coronavirus and now these motherfucking riots. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't even know how to think. I don't even know how to feel. I don't even know what the fuck to say. Like, what the fuck happened? Like, we were all good in the motherfucking neighborhood. You know, this, this shit happens. But you know what? I'm not gonna think about it right now because right now it's bird cookie Martinez time. And we gotta be positive and we gotta do this bitch. Because if we don't do it, who the fuck is gonna do it? If I'm not here to tell you guys who the fuck is else, who the fuck else is gonna do it? I know there's a lot of bitches that could, that could cook or whatever. But, uh, you know, some of you guys like me, little old me. Okay, so I'm going to give my my little shout-outs. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. I feel so special. So there's a girl named Maria Solis. Y dice que she has this thing where she does points. And when then they, they, she gets points, she gets gift cards. Y dice, you know, I have enough I want to share with you. And she sent me gift cards. When I get a card for Target and a gift card for Old Navy. And we're going to go to um, Target because the girls, you know, they need socks. They need certain stuff. And the fucking, it says that we're shut down curfew fucking 5 o'clock or some shit. So everything was closed. So thank you, Maria, but another day. But thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. Also, I don't know why. I think because of everything that's going on, I get, I get all like, fuck. Like, because I know people, you know, they don't have their money. They don't have stuff. And they still find a way to, like, give it to me. You know? It's like, damn, bitch. So this is for, this shout out for Joe. What's his last name? But his name is Joe. He's from Arizona. Look at his letter, bitch. It says, bird, I'm still waiting on a red pork cot tamale. LOL. Here's not much, but I hope you use it to buy tiny Tiny bitty mason jars for your salsa. Always do your thing. Much love from the Nav Navajo land. Joe. Bitch, really? Cuando I was reading into it, my eyes got all watery because it's like, even if it's like a little bit of money, it means a lot because you took money from your ass to give it to my ass, you know? And it's like, you fuck with me, motherfuckers. I love that shit. Thank you so much, Joe. And I'm going to buy the, those tiny mason jars and I'm going to send you a salsa. Which one do you want? The red, the green, or the remix mix to the remix mix? Bitch, 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 bitch. Okay. Also, this is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say her name. But I guess she didn't have PayPal or whatever. And she's like, Can I send you the money cash? And I was like, Yeah, send it to me and I'll send you the salsas. So she sent it to me and I guess I she thought I got it like days ago. So she sent me a message, you fucking bitch. You took my money. Why would you do that to me? I don't trust you no more. I guess she was like in her feelings. And I'm like, bitch, I got it, I got it yesterday. What the fuck? So I sent her an email. I'm like, what the fuck? I would never, ever, 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 ever do that to somebody. Take their motherfucking money. Hell no. I'm better than that. My mama raised me good. So I sent her a message. And I'm like, took a picture of it. I'm like, see, it just got here today. Why would I do that to you? And she's like, oh, sorry, I called you a bitch. Bitch. <laughs> it's all good. I get it. I get it. So, this vid video is for Chini, the great, from Snapchat. So, she sent me, you know, a little snappity chat, chat, chat. And it was her, her rice that didn't come out like mine. She's like, bird, I made your rice, but look at it. I mean, it tastes good, but it's all mooey, smushy, and gooey. Pa la chingada, chinga su madre. And she was all like, what the fuck did I do wrong? And I'm like, don't worry, girl. Sal the the... The rice, that's how it is sometimes. That's why only the real Mexicans get it. But it's not true. Not only the real Mexicans get it. I did it. I couldn't even cook rice for years. Mario would never even touch my rice. So, the thing with rice is you have to have a good rice. I've noticed that the jasmine rice is good. But this rice right here, Verde Valle, is the good one good. So this is the long, fluffier, más largo y esponjado. Ooh, largo y esponjado para las golosas. But look right here, I found another one. And it says Mexico's number one brand of rice. But this one is different. 
This one's thicker. What is the fucking name, bruh? Per cup, half, one fourth per serving. It gives you the little directions, but these are a little shorter. But I don't know. I've never tried these ones, but I, the one that I do use, I use this. So every time I make rice, I just put it in my colander. But today I'm actually gonna, you know, um, measure everything. Rice, Mexican rice, exact measurements for that ass. Okay. So we're gonna, I'll, I'll give you the measurements right now. We're gonna use four tomatoes, because we want it to be beautiful. And we're gonna use a piece of onion, two garlic cloves, of course my little horse, we're gonna use a tomato. We're gonna use a little bit of this one because you use a lot, lot, it turns red and it's not good. And then, but the one that is very, very important, you could use a brand, this one, like this, but it has to be chicken flavor bouillon. And yeah, you could use chicken broth, you could use water, you could use whatever the fuck you want. You guys notice I don't have my casserolas over there? Because since my father in law um, got me the easy off, um, the greasing, the greasing. How do you call it when you take off the fucking, um, the grease from the casserola? Since I cook a lot, I'm not a dirty little bitch. I just cook a lot, like a lot, lot. I don't even show you guys half of the shit that I fucking cook because some of them are like, it's too basic for these motherfuckers. But you know, a lot of you motherfuckers love the basic shit. And like this, this is some basic shit, but it's gonna, it's gonna rock your motherfucking world. So these are the casserolas. I just put a bunch of easy off. And I left it overnight. So let's see how they look. Uno, dos, tres. So let's see how they're beautiful they're going to be. So I just get a little bit of soap. And I use the fibra, the fiber. How do you call it? And I scrub it like this. The booty hole, the asshole, all around. The corners. Because since I cook a lot, they get all fucking like, see that? All the fiber, with, with all the fiber and shit. And then, ooh, mira que chulada. I mean, I don't have fancy things, like, you know, like those people that have like the same pots or the same colors and all that. I mean, I love that shit too because you you have pride in your stuff and you can afford it, then fuck yeah. But if you're a cheap ass bitch like me, you know, you got cups from fucking Denny's, cups from fucking, look, what's that? Black pepper from Olive Garden, all that shit. That's just how I am. I'm all over the fucking place, all over the world. I think even if I got rich one day, I don't know. I don't think I could be wasting money on stuff that I don't need. I'm just like that. I'm a fucking weirdo. Maybe because I grew up poor. People that grew up poor were different. I mean, if you grew up rich, it's not your fault. You I mean, that's good. I wish I grew up at least with more stuff, but it's okay because I learned how to appreciate the shit that I got. It's the poor kids that grew up understand. You know what I'm saying? Okay, motherfuckers. So before we start, one thing very, very, very important is that before you start your little whatever is the cooking your rice or whatever, doing whatever the fuck, whatever with your rice, please be sure to do your little remix, your tomato remix. Porque back in the day, I see mi pinch arroz and then I was like, oh, I haven't did a thing. And then I would put it like, I'll leave it the thing too long and my rice would come out hard. I don't know if that makes any sense. Also, I forgot, we're gonna add some cumin up in this hole. Cumin, you know, it has a little smelly smell, smell. It smells like, I don't know, some people think it smells like armpits. I don't know, to me it smells bomb. I love fucking cumin. But we're gonna put cumin cuando lo estamos dorando, okay? Okay, so, measuring first. This is very weird for me to measure things. Oh my God. I never measure things. My sister, she always measures everything. And I look at her like, <sighs> no, but that's how she is, okay? I'm not hating on my own sister. I would have never, ever do that. Ever, 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 ever hate on my sister. How can people even be like that? I love my sister. I miss my sister. I'm by myself. Don't wanna be. I'm by myself. So this is how I measure my rice. Is that I always have to have rice because Mandy, that's what she eats. She eats like, um, ¿cómo se dice? Every morning she eats eggs with rice and salsa. That's like her thing, chicken wings. I'm like, don't you get bored? And she's like, no, I love it. And every day when I give it to her, she acts like it's the best thing in the world. So there goes one cup. 
And now we're gonna do two cups. And you know what? I'm gonna give you guys a motherfucking secret porque así es. Because some bitches, like, they do not like to see other people make bomb ass food. And that's fucked up. I wanna see everybody fucking shine. I wanna see everybody make some bomb ass shit. I don't wanna be like, oh, I cook better than you. Fuck all that. That means you're just like a fucking, almost a decent selfish bitch. And you could call me a fucking little hood, right? You could call me a dumbass bitch, que soy ghetto, todo lo quieras. Pero one thing I'm not, I am not este, selfish. Okay, cuatro, son las cuatro cups. And I think four, va a ser and a half, or las five. Four, and three fourths. So four and three fourths. Okay, so now if you want to wash it, you could wash it. If you don't want to wash it, don't wash it. Do what you do, just wash those shoes. Do what you do, just wash your shoes. Oh shit, that sounded good as fuck. I'm a motherfucking singer now. Pero que te les voy a decir? Bitch, what the fuck is going on? Um, right now, you know Maya has like this little thing where it alerts you with shit when she's going on. You need to pee pee? What could be? Why do you want to el pito? Que? You want me to hold your pito? You need to poop? No, we'll go to the, go to the bathroom, puppy. So he got this alert thing on Facebook saying that, oh, they're looting este, the CVS. And the CVS is like two blocks away. So Mario was freaking out. And I was like, but no, I don't, I don't hear nothing. Maybe they're tripping out. They're like making shit up. And guess what? They were making it up. But I know in other cities, shit is popping off real, real. And I just want to let you guys know, like, stay your asses home. Okay, people are fucking nuts. People are fucking kicking people in the face and doing all the most. And I don't even, I don't even know what the fuck to say. If I say one thing, oh, all people's lives matter, or black people, black lives matter. Somebody's gonna have an opinion. So it's like complicated. You know, say, you check it You know, say, I feel like they're just people are just using that as an excuse. What happened with um? The guy, no me acuerdo su nombre, um, to do all this. Porque for change, for real change, we have to, like, talk about it. But I guess, I don't know, I don't even know what the fuck to do. I would say we have to talk about it, but we have talked about it before, and shit still doesn't change. But you guys need to know, understand, the Mexicans have this problem, too. It's the, how many fucking Mexicans have, like, the cops killed, and nobody does anything about it? We don't even come out in the fucking news or nothing, because there's... Just another cholito, just another cholita. It just it sucks, okay, man. Okay, now we're gonna add two ounces of this motherfucking bitch in here. Oil. Um, you could make it with butter. I made it with butter before when I don't have any oil because I run out of oil all the time. But I'm always cooking, yeah, and I always use oil. And I'm like, damn, I turn into my damn mom. I always tell my mom, no le eches tanta oil, no vamos a morir. Anyways, we're gonna add the rice. This thing was already heating up, so yeah. Guess what? I forgot to do my mix. Por estar hablando, estar en el chisme. But you guys know I'm a professional now. Ahora sí ya no se me quema como antes. So I'm gonna put it low. And while I do it low, I'm gonna do my little remix. My remix to the remix to the remix mix mix. Bitch. The thing for this, just move it around. You know what I'm saying? Get every little piece in there. And we're gonna try to get it golden. My fucking brown. Que se mira chingón para que diga la suegra. Damn, bitch, you get down and then she's gonna be hating on you. So you make better, right? And then you're gonna be like, who taught you? Bird motherfucking Dinas, B. Okay, so here we have the four tomatoes, the four amigos that are gonna give their life for us to make some bomb ass rice. Okay, so we're gonna cut them in four. Wait, wait, se me cayó uno. One died for pendeja. Por estar ahí hablando un chingo siempre, estoy ahí. Es que me están cayendo las cosas. We're going to use four. And then we're going to use a piece of, a piece of este, onion. A, when I say a piece, it's just a piece. Nothing fancy. Okay, I don't know how to measure this bitch. ¿Qué pasó, papi? Hi. ¿Cómo está mi papá? Hey, daddy. Ese cabrón, he's so fucking spoiled. But you know what? I already told him, I love you so much that I have to... Ponerte en este time out y darte tus nalgadas. Porque he be hitting Sofía, he be hitting... Ya ves, cálmate papi. He be hitting Mandy. And I said, oh hell no. I'm not gonna be that fucking mom, that Mexican mom that lets the son do anything. Give him a pass. Fuck that. Ven, para adentro. We're gonna put two garlic cloves. 
Como chingas, cabrón. ¿Qué pasó? I'm gonna put two ounces of the chicken flavor. This is weird. Fucking cooking with um. I think you're supposed to use a teaspoon and all that, but I'm using this cup because this cup is all I have to measure. I've had the other little thingy to measure. Y se para la chingada donde quedaron. I'm like, mmm, ya valí madre. I was all proud of myself because I was doing something like different, like buying measuring shit. Y lo valió madre. So, anyways, yesterday we went to the um. ¿Cómo se llama una street to drop off the the birria, the birria for Doña Cecilia. We're driving our asses back home. We didn't go anywhere. We just went there and came back. We didn't even get off. I just got off me and the girls. Because Mario will never let me go alone anywhere. Porque es muy celoso. He's not celoso. He just does, doesn't want anything to happen to me. But I mean, he is celoso. I don't even know no more. But he's not controlling. I already, because I'm a fucking bird. How can you control me? But anyways, so we were on our way home. <laughs> and our tire popped. Yes, bitch, our tire popped. But Mario, like if he was younger, he would be like panicking. But since we've had those issues happen before, he was just like, okay, okay, we're gonna go really slow until we get off the exit. Then we got off Roxford. Okay. So then we're gonna put this. It's the same thing. Two ounces of the same thing. I said you don't have to put a lot, but you know what? I'm gonna put this because then it's gonna come out too red. And now we're gonna add okay. the water. I added five cups. Is this bitch recording? Five cups. I know it looks like four, but it's five of water. You could also use chicken broth or whatever you want. Mira que chulada. I love the colors, bitch. And we're gonna blend this whole. So I always tell Mario how we're fucking blessed, how my mom is always praying for us. I got people praying for me, how people wanna fucking see me succeed. But he doesn't, like, he doesn't believe. Like, I believe. I know he fakes beliefs. I fucking real believe. But then, anyways. So, we were, like, going and he was going really slow. And it was dark, you know. Estaban diciendo que we have to be home by 6. So, no sé qué la chingada curfew. So, we get up in the gas station. As soon as we get up in the gas station, like, there was this little troquita with this, you know, señor. And you know, I could tell he lives in his troca. But, you know, is that this is those Mexican types. That, you know, you see that he's falling through hard times. But he was todo arreglado, you know, and he was like with his hattie. I don't know. My gente, I love my people that, you know, even if they're, you know, like he was living in his little truck. It's that he took pride in his, how he looks. So anyways, I was like, triple A, sepa la chingada. And they were like, I was on hold and no sé qué. And do not make fun of Mario. He is not a, the type of person that likes to use tools and all that. I always tell him, you're my... You're my, como se dice? It is mi muñeco. You know, he, he doesn't get his hands dirty. I don't know. I love him exactly how he is. I don't care. So anyways. So, I'm walking around, like, trying to figure out. I see a fucking towing truck and there's nobody inside. So I'm like, I told Mario, why don't we tell the guy if he could change the tire for us? You know? We're, like, almost home. And he's like, okay, go. I'm like, he was picking the, getting the recycling cans or whatever. And I was like, hola señor, este, se nos puso la llanta, um, no nos puede ayudar. And he's like, claro, mi hija, sus órdenes. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So anyways, I'll tell you guys why I'm doing this. So anyways, so get the rice at medium and just move it around because we want it to get golden brown. And that's the trick. So para que no se te suelte y te salga todo aguado. But anyways. So the man, you know, he starts getting his little tools and he's like, a sus órdenes, and he walks with me and I take him to the car. And he's like, ¿Es ese su novio? And I'm like, no, es mi esposo. And he's like, ah, pero tan chiquita, you're too young to be. I'm like, no, man, I'm old, I'm, I got my three kids. He's like, oh, look at you with your three kids. And we're talking and he's like, where are your parents from? I'm like, Michoacán. And I'm, he's like, where are you from? And he's like, Aguascalientes. You know, we're having a whole conversation. I love to talk to people. I'm like such a people's person. And he's like, and how do you learn how to talk Spanish? And I'm like, Spanish is my first language. What you mean? And he's like, ah, si sí, mero. But anyways, he was doing his thing, saying that my, my ties were too loose. And I was telling him about high sell salsas. And I said, yeah, one day, one of these days, I'll like hook you up with one. And he said um, that he gave me his number and everything. Bitch. So Mario went to the ATM, right? Okay. He went to the ATM. And I'm like, get him 
when he gets to the ATM, there was $20 already there. I don't know why. So Mario nos agarró, and then he, he got $20 more. And then Mario's like, oh, look, I found $20. But here's his $20. I'm like, no, it's his luck. It's this $20 that Mario found were for that man, you know? Because let me tell you something. And I'm not trying to put him on blast. His shoes were lady shoes. And his socks, they were full of holes. So I was like, it, it hurt me. Like, I want, I want him to get a little something. Maybe for $40 is not a lot, but it's something so he could get his meal. And I told Mario, Mario, that's so sweet of you. You gave him both, you know, the money that you found in that. Hi, huh, Sophia. Yeah. Did you get scared yesterday when the tire? Oh, no. You didn't get scared because Papi got that? Yes. Yeah, Sophia, did her puzzle? Um, I wasn't that scared because I knew we were going to find a guy. You knew we were going to find a guy? Yeah. Yeah, but what is a coincidence that he was there and we were there? And, like, that he got his little money and he helped us and I got his number. His name is Jesus, like my brother. And um, I said, I don't know why I think, I thought you were a Carlos. He looked like a Carlos. But then nos ayudó. And I'm like so grateful for people like that, that know their shit. And I know it's just a tire fail. We could have stayed there to wait for the AAA. You know something yes. AAA like, takes forever. Yeah, they take forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, 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 ever. Mm. But anyways, vamos a remixar esta. So the rice is ready. If you want to take more longer, I'm getting it all like really, really golden brown. And you could do that if you want, if you really, really want. But I don't know. I think it's ready, Freddy. She ready, Freddy. You know what I mean? Jelly motherfucking bean. Como la flor. Con tanto amor. Me diste tú. Se marchito. I can't sing for she. <gasps> Guys, I forgot to tell you guys something. Go watch a movie. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so now we're gonna add the remix. Remix to the remix to remix, mix, mix. Get your shield. And there you go, yo. Oh my god, it's not so fucking good. I forgot to add the cumin, but it's never too late. It's never too late. A little bit. Measurements is two little things, two little drops. And then we're gonna put it at high. And then we're gonna close this bitch and wait for this bitch to get sexy. Nice and sexy and voluptuous. One more trick or tip. Make sure that's in the middle because sometimes if you leave it one side or the other side, it's not gonna work. Also, while you're cooking, just clean it up like this, you know what I'm saying? Do a little bit so you don't get stuck with a bunch of shit at the end. So, Marvelous Mandy got something in the, not the mail. It was like, Mario was taking a shit. I was talking to my mom and Mario was like, yeah, call you, call you, somebody's outside. And they brought Mandy this for her birthday and her graduation day. And she was all happy. She's like, little old me. And the reason she looks all sweaty and shit is she just ran her. How many miles did you run? Um, like two. Two miles. So anyways, here's a little note. It says, Dear Bird, I saw your video last night about Mandy's birthday. Please enjoy this gift from my family to yours. Happy, happy birthday, Mandy. Aloha from from Felicia and the family in the, in the middle of these damn trees. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Felicia. That's so nice. So nice. Thank you. Thanks, Felicia. In the middle of Ohio trees. So yeah, I'm so thankful. Thank you, Felicia. Felicia, you rich, rich, huh? Yeah, I was losing pity and Maddie because of the riots and all this, but now I got my face back. Yeah, she was sad because she's like, man, why can people be so hateful? Why is this going on? And I'm like, pues, chinga su madre, pues, um, there's evil people, there's crazy people, there's psycho, they're fucking mamones. Pero siempre va a haber gente buena en este mundo, always, always and forever. What do you want to eat? Pineapple. Mm. Pineapple. I like the grapes. Feed me some grapes. Como dice la Cardi B? Feed me some grapes. Con no sé qué tanto. Mm. Thank you very much. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, it's been 10 minutos. So now what we're going to do, you're going to get a fork. You're going to move it around, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to lower the... Um, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿La fire? ¿La lumbre? 
¿Cómo se dice, Mandy? The temperature? Ah, dice, I'm too busy eating my damn <laughs> chocolates. Mandy's a big chocolate person. My mom used to be a big chocolate person, but my grandma used to make cacao. She used to make um, chocolate from scratch. And my mom, since that was the only, the only, the only candy she could, she had access to, she would like stuff her mouth with it. And um, she did it and did it and overdid it so much that she's like a skiada, like she's over the fucking este chocolate. Chocolate batimato. So, Mandy, Sofia, we were so touched by that man that helped us in the yesterday in the in the liquor store gas station, gas station that Sofia um, was trying to get him a job because the guy right before I left he's like oh I hope to see you someday again and then I shook his hand I know you're not supposed to shake hands but you know I was right next to him and then he said oh if you need something. I work in construction. I could do anything, anything chicken wing. And Sophia and Mandy were like doing a whole plan. They're gonna ask. And we, we, we ready for the next job opening. Mm hmm So, so abuelito, um, they're trying to get him a job with the grandpa because there's a job opening right now. Imagine. Yeah. yeah. I feel so bad when immigrants are struggling. Mm hmm It breaks my heart. He has groceries. He had gro yeah, he had groceries, and that's what hurt me because I know his kind. He's like that type of, Me you know that type of Mexican that they take pride, they're always dressed up. There's another Mexican that lives down the street, and that motherfucker dresses every day like he's gonna go to a motherfucking party. Tiene su hat, tiene su chain, sus botas, and he's, it don't matter the day, night or day, he's always dressed up from the feet up. Este, and one time he was so fucked up, he was so drunk, that he thought he knew me. He's like, mija, you know, thank you for always being there for me. And I was like, mm, what the fuck are you talking about? I live up your street, but I don't know you. And I was like, si, pues, si, pues. And then he bought me a beer. And I was like, okay, okay, fine. I'm talking about beer. Tell me about beer. Mario, but it's mamada. Doesn't he know? Mario, don't you know who your wife is? Este, what the fuck are you doing? So anyways, I know Mario was supposed to do the Q&A with me today. Pero se rajó. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. Also, all your little letters that you guys are sending me, I have all of them. I am gonna, I think I'm gonna buy like a scrapbook or something. Para que no se me pierdan. So when I'm old and crusty, I'm gonna be like, do you know who the fuck I was? I was the one, the only bird motherfucking penis back in the day. People used to love me. All of this, all of this, all of this. And now I'm old and crusty and nobody cares about me. But imagine I stay in contact with like one person. On my YouTube, if I remember, bitch, we used to have a YouTube. Remember that shit? Uh, it's been 10 more minutes. Ya la pagué. Mira que chulada, bitch, bitch, bitch. This rice is a type of rice you cut like veggies or whatever. Pero I like it just like this, con un huevito on the side. Damn, bitch. Them rice skills. Trust me, I was never, I wasn't like this from the beginning. I went through a lot, lot. Cause I'm a tata. So, we are done though, motherfuckers. It's them. I like my tortillas like this. Mm, mm, mm. And the rice looks amazing, boss. Of course, my little horse. Mira, mira, nomás mira, nomás mira. Mira la calidad. Pura calidad in this bitch. I remember when I used to hang out with my sister, my big sister, Pilar. Um, that's why I'm telling you, big sisters are the best. When you get along with them, it's like, bitch. So, we always just say, pura calidad, pura calidad. Yo soy pura calidad. I don't know why you remember that right now. What Meaning, is that it means like, I'm, I'm just made of quality. Pura calidad, pura calidad. I don't know, random shit. And, um, ¿cómo se llama esa pinche I want you guys to watch that movie. I'm, oh, I know. I'm not here anymore? I'm not here anymore. Yes. I'm not here anymore. Because it's such a fucking badass movie. It's about the, the Sonideros guys. Dun, 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 dun. Um, it's on Netflix. So, the last time I saw my sister, she dressed like that. And you know those cholos? It's like cholos, cumbia, cumbia, whatever. And they dance like this. Or whatever. Baby Mario gets down with that music. Because um, the movie's about how there's a whole lifestyle, you know? Can I eat that, mommy? Oh, cause yeah. But you can. Oh, you're gonna eat it like that. We can't see you. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And the movie is about 
how he that's his lifestyle or whatever and um the narcos come in and they change his life but it's not like a narco movie i'm fucking sick of narco movies i hate that shit i'm so annoyed with the narco shit because they glamorize that whole i wish that shit didn't exist so mexico would be normal i know like i i do care about mexico a lot because that's where my mama came from that's my people you know what i'm saying i care about america the man i care about everybody so here we go yo mm -hmm. the rice huh i would really, really like it i Hmm? I suggest, you know, I think people should, should try your recipe. It's very good. Hurry on. I think so too, Sophia. You want a plate instead? Uncle. Fuck yeah. For my bitches out there that need a little help, I'm here. I'm here for you. I got you. But anyways, but anyways, I hope this helped. I tried my best with the measurements and all that shit. So if you have preferred a plate. Mm -hmm. But anyways, motherfucker, no te dice que me está caliente. La vi, Sofía. Shout out to all my bird gang gang, no. Shout out to all my bird gang 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 motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love. Ya se me había olvidado, wey. Estoy bien, wey. It's cause, yeah, with all this shit going on, I'm a little, like, thinking over about the future nothing bad is gonna happen nothing bad is gonna happen we are just gonna get through this we're gonna get through this bitch through this motherfucker Bitch, I just want to wish my baby girl Mandy happy birthday I love you cabrona bitch I'm gonna go cry now she's 14 <sighs> how did this shit happen